also I have a habit of tucking my hair behind my ears. I know. But um so yeah, I've changed my t-shirt to and I've also forgot I didn't put any of these in so I popped these like red ones with like black specks on them to kind of go with the pattern on t shirt and the colour of it. So yeah. Um and I literally don't know what I'm doing right now. It's like I've made my bed, I've done the whole dishwasher thing, and I've had my food. Um, I sorted some stuff out of my room. Um, like trying to find the like, don't know what they're called, they're like the type of, like, you know, these bags that you get bits of like, jewelry in and stuff. Um, but obviously you find smaller ones because I've been making these little badges for and um, I'm hoping to sell um, on Depop of like little bottle tops and stuff like that. That's a really bad one I made because the top was on a screw top and it was too big. It has to be like more of a break off top. But, okay, there's one right here. And, um, a little VK one. It's a little badge because it's like using a can, a little, got a little can top inside to make the base, and then we got a little, just a little gold safety pin so you can pin it to your stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna make a huge ton of them, and I'm probably gonna. Sort out how much the shipping is then and see how much that is over in the post office. Have them weigh it, say, um, obviously you gotta pay for how much it weighs and then of course adds even more with the packaging it comes in there. So obviously I'll be taking them up there, find out how much they are, work out the postage and the price. Um, cause, like, the ball tops and the can tops are just for more, like, drinks that I've drank. Um, only thing I really actually had to go on my way to get was these, technically. Well, the rest of it's more recycled, I already had it, and I didn't realise I had it, I just saved it. Yeah, these bags I need, but I need some more ones. Only thing I had to pay really to make them was these and little pliers, which my dad took again. Because they're not my pliers, they were my dad's that I used to make them, but he took them again. And I asked him, can you keep the small ones in my room? Just take the big ones, because I don't need the big one. And he takes the small ones, so I don't have that right now. And I also got like, I bought like a bunch of berry bars offline and... They sent multiple of the same ones, like I just bought like a bulk, like these cool multicolored bars. And there was like supposed to be all different patterns, but they sent quite a lot of them with the same pattern on them. So I don't really have many patterns, it's just multiple of the same. Of like only like five different patterns and there's like about a hundred of them. So it's like I don't get it. You can't just give me like one of every different pattern, but they gave me like some. I only had like two of the same one, and then other ones are like about twenty of the same. So um, I haven't used them. I've only put one in, and that's an orange one. And I'm keeping all the ones that I'm keeping that have been used. If they're used, I'm keeping them, and I'm keeping them in one place. So they don't get mixed, hygiene doesn't go anywhere. Um, I'm probably going to soak them in salt water anyway before I sell them, just to be safe that they're still hygienic whatsoever. Because you can never tell when you get stuff offline. So obviously if anyone does end up buying them, I'll be soaking them and obviously spraying the bags and the bars with like, some antiseptic spray or something like that. Keep them clean. So, 
whoever purchases them then gets them whilst they're clean and then it's up to them if they still want to make sure by soaking in salt water. So yeah, so I've been also hunting around my room for some bags and all that. Just so they look unique and stay hygienic. But yeah, so I haven't really done that much and I also ran Jack because he's in college at the moment and he has his break. So I ran him just to make sure he's okay. And also to figure out what we're doing tonight because got trained again tonight so I was wondering if we're staying down line or going back up to his and he's got a show tomorrow as well so if we're just going back down his obviously I'll need to know like if I'm going with him if I'm gonna get my stuff ready so when I go to see his training we can catch the bus back to his but he's also got a show tomorrow so we might be staying down here but he said he'll give me a text if this is any change so yeah, also the lighting's are really bad. It's like, you can tell it's been winter now. I never did light on because I'm trying to save electricity and all that. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do right now. I think I might finish reading Turtles all the way down. I got to like about chapter three yesterday. So I might do that. Um, I haven't played on my DS in a while. So I could play Final Fantasy. Um, I can't remember what Final Fantasy game I was playing. I think it was Winner Fates. Yeah, or I could finish Fire Emblem Fates. Just another thought. <laughs> I never finished DS games, I'm so bad. Um, like, every video game I have, I have never finished. There's very little video games that I have actually completed. Thinking of it now. Um, it's like I don't even have all the video game cases, and I'm looking over at my video game cases. Because my mum has, me and my mum do this thing where we're like, oh, good DS game. I'm playing like those little DS game travelling case things, and the case comes in, she'll chuck it in the bin. And she was doing that ever since I was a kid, because it makes her own room, but I prefer to keep the case. I like keeping the cases because that they come in because obviously they're there and plus if it's a game that you're not really into playing that much and you play it like completely like a ton of times and there's no point in playing again it's easier to, like you can sell it easier because it comes in its original casage and obviously who not many people want to buy a game if it's not in the case because do you know if the game has been looked after that much if it's been pre-owned so and i'm pretty sure every time i go into like places that sell pre-owned games i never noticed any games being sold in without their cases on because i don't know if you're allowed to do that so I'm trying to keep all the cases, but my mom likes to throw the cases out because she thinks it makes more room. But I don't know. So yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm still looking over here, to be honest. Um, so I might try and play a video game. I got I even got like games for the Xbox. I haven't even played yet. I like playing video games, but I'm not huge, so I'm playing very regular. I can't even recall the last time I played. Really? I'm more of like a DS person, I guess. Because when it comes to DS, you can at least, like, say, carry around. So, if you're on, like, say, the bus, you can play on the bus. Or you're taking a really long car journey. Yeah, if I always take my gas if I need that. It's like if there's a really long car journey, um, I'll take a bag and I'll shove a book in there and a DS game. So, from my console, because, yeah. And I've always been more fan of DS anyway since I was a kid. It's like my first game console. I still got my first DS as well. 
It's only one DS I don't have, and that's because I broke the charging port. Because I got the DS Lite, um, which still has the Game Boy system in it, and that was the last one to have the Game Boy system in. So I'm glad I got a DS at that point. Um, I then got Nintendo DS XL, and it's a 25th anniversary Mario Bros one. So that's kind of cool, and it's got like little Mario stuff on it. It's red, and then I just got plain white 3D DS XL new. Um, I did have a red DS 3D one, like 3D, red 3D DS. Um, I don't have the 2DS. I don't see the point of the 3DS really. Um, it's only because. All the games for 3D now are being made and it's impossible to find a 2D game. And obviously you can still use your 2D games in them. And they don't make any DS other than the 3D and 2D. But like, I'm calling them 2D games but I'm just calling, in reality they're just DS, not 3D. Because... They're just the old games so you used to use for the light and for the DSi. But yes, one I don't have is uh, no way I do have a DS, I have a DSi XL. Which is the Mario Bros. one I was gonna say I don't have a DSi, but yeah. Um I just have the big version of I. But I don't know. I don't know what I was about to say. Oh yeah, the whole DS fan. Um, I don't even use the whole 3D sign on it, like. It's like when I hear the 3D fan, I was like, kind of like, I don't really want to play a game in 3D, really. So we'll see the point. And with the 3D set in. But lucky enough, on the actual console themselves, you can turn the 3D off. Because on the side, they got a little switch, so you can switch back and forth if you want the game in 3D or not. You can only do that with 3D games, um, 